Ephesians 6, verses 11 through 13 says, Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this darkness, against evil spiritual forces in the heavens. For this reason, take up the full armor of God, so that you may be able to resist in the evil day, and having prepared everything, to take your stand. As Paul was teaching Christians how to live to please God in this section of the letter, he urged them and us to recognize the war taking place. Particularly, the nature of this war is spiritual rather than physical. Ultimately, it is the devil and all his allies who are trying to attack and defeat God's people. If they succeed, the result is eternal spiritual destruction in the fires of hell. Thankfully, though, God has provided everything that is needed to fight and be victorious against them through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and the armor he has provided. While it's easy to think about all the situations you face in life from a purely physical perspective, this passage should challenge you to see the spiritual warfare that's going on behind the scenes. That is, what you may see is often only one piece of the real situation. For Satan hurls all sorts of flaming arrows in our direction that he uses to destroy us on a spiritual level. Namely, he works through deceptions, through earthly desires we have, and through sufferings and trials we may endure in life. As you go through each of these things, however, it is critical that you do not just see the physical trials that may be present, but also the spiritual attacks that go with them as to whether you will be faithful to God or not. Today's response to hearing God's word is this. Recognize you are at war. Satan does not want you to see yourself as being involved in a war. For if you do not know that you are fighting in a war, you will be attacked and defeated with ease. However, by recognizing the war you are in, you will at least be in a position to choose whether you will fight and how you will fight. Then, if you choose to fight so as to be victorious through the power of God, you will carefully put on each piece of armor God has given that will protect against all the tactics of Satan and every weapon in his arsenal that he tries to use to defeat you.